Hey guys, Dennis on Magic here, and I uh, got a fun announcement from Wizards that kind of flew under the radar because uh, nobody gave a crap. I mean, the title might as well have been Don't Click on This because it just looks so uninteresting, except to me. I caught on right away to what was going on. So September 19th, they released this under their uh, news announcement article page thing. I don't know, their website sucks. It's such a disorganized mess and everything is mislabeled. Oh, and you still can't find the Ixalan storyline under their story page. They're on chapter three, for God's sake. Get it together, wizards. But anyway, let's read this together. It says, new Japanese cardstock. So you're probably thinking, oh, okay, so they, they heard from the customers and they're like, okay, we're sick of the cards curling. We're going to change out the cardstock, okay? But we're testing it in Japan first, right? No, Japan was one of the places that I've had multiple reports that were uh, not having curling problems. They were actually specifically the area that was not having problems with curling. Oh, and by the way, totally misspoke ab about a million videos back where I said that uh, all of the cards for the entire world are printed in Bel Belgium. Apparently, Europe and maybe Asia are printed in Belgium, although they're saying just Japanese, so maybe those are printed somewhere in Asia. I don't know. Don't care either. But, um, yeah... This doesn't affect any cards that were actually curling. So if anything, this is going to make them curl. In fact, what with what I know about the details that they give in this article, it will make them curl in all likelihood. So instead of fixing the card curling problem in America where it's happening for the cards that are printed in Texas, they decided to do exactly the opposite and make them curl in other places of the world, potentially. Holy... Crap, I mean, there's stupid and then there's, I don't even know what word to describe this with level stupid. So let's read this together, shall we? Starting with Kaladesh, we have changed the paper used for Japanese language cards. That's right, they're announcing this on September 19th when it went into effect with Kaladesh. Why would they be announcing it this far after it already happened and people probably noticed? Oh, you'll find out near the bottom where they go straight up threat level. Or not threat level, threatening. They start threatening us. This is the weirdest announcement I've ever seen from Wizards. Anyway, we're utilizing a high quality recyclable paper that will yield several improvements. <laughs> and several unimprovements. Let me just add that. We're letting you know this because you might notice some differences with the new paper. By that, they mean you might have already noticed some differences and already talking about it online, obviously, which is why we felt the need to confirm it. First, the new paper is 100% recyclable, the first ever Magic Cards to be certified as such. It is even made from recycled content and sustainably sourced paper pulps. Woo! Uh, the paper itself is custom made in Japan specifically for playing cards. Usually recycled materials and four playing cards are complete polar opposites, so I actually find that hard to believe, but whatever. Marketing, PR, who knows what kind of logic they use to come up with that half-true statement. Oh, and this next part, I'm, I'm reading this exactly as they wrote it. Additionally, people may notice an additional stiffness in the cardstock, and the very observant might notice, uh, might, wait, might note that the cards will fluoresce differently under UV light than previous Japanese printings. Yeah, actually, your observation level and whatever you roll on your D20 for your perception check has nothing to do with whether or not you notice that they fluoresce under UV light. Uh, pretty much holding them under UV light would tell you that they fluoresce under UV light. These changes were made in concert with our Japanese printing partners to continually upgrade the quality of our printing process. Okay, in all likelihood it, one, saved money, or two, was a wash but made them look better because, woo, it's recyclable, they're certified, aren't we progressive, tree hugger, yay, hipsters of the coast. Or three, it was legally mandated by Japan due to their strict recycling laws. One of the three is probably actually the case. Actually, if it's made with recycled pulp, it's, it probably is just cheaper. Anyway, we believe these differences, particularly the recyclable nature of the cards and the sustainability of the paper, are significant steps forward in our printing process. Okay, let me stop right there. If you want to be eco-friendly, shrink it down from 10 commons to 9. That is the solution. I've said it before, I'll say it again. That is the solution. Anyway, while we believe most Magic players may not notice these differences, if players are found to be intentionally exploiting these differences for advantage during a tournament, such players may be subject to tournament penalties based on the discretion of the tournament judge. 
You guys know the method I use to shuffle, right? First of all, if these have a different stiffness and a different like spring back when you bend them, they are not going to randomize when you riff shuffle them. They are just not. Now, I riff shuffle. That's what I do. And also, I'll be able to feel the difference. I guarantee you I will. Even at like a medium speed riff shuffle that's pretty convincing to the person watching, I'll be able to tell if one of those cards is in the top three or the bottom three very damn easily. So if I want to know where these cards are pre-cut, yeah, not going to be much of a problem, trust me. So just to, to say, oh, well, if we can prove it, if we suspect that you're, you know, noticing the bendability of the card, I mean, they can't tell me to shuffle in a way that I'm not comfortable with and I'm not proficient with. That's just stupid. So this whole thing is damn stupid. You know why? Because anybody can buy Japanese cards and they kept the same paper for the basic lands. That, that's just not a good idea. Nothing about this is a good idea. I mean, you're going to have to wait until they've printed it enough times that, okay, standard is now 100% those, and then switch to just the new standard lands. Or in the meantime, you'll have to, I don't know, just know that Kaladesh Onward are going to shuffle differently than your basic lands and your cards that are slightly older than them. I mean, we're about to cycle, so it's not that big of a deal, but still, this is just so, so dumb. And so to threaten people, like, if, if you exploit the fact that we completely changed the cards and there's nothing you can do about it, we're going to kick you out of the tournament, and it's completely the opinion of the judge. So whether you're innocent or guilty, they're going to decide if you get kicked out of the tournament due to our stupid decision. Wow, thanks, wizards. That's awesome. So the final paragraph is, we take quality of our card stock very seriously, and we're excited to partner with our Japanese... <laughs> okay, wait a minute. First of all, no, you don't. Anyway, to proceed with what they were saying, uh, we're excited to partner with our Japanese printer to produce high-quality Japanese language cards for that market, which obviously you can legally use them in the English market, and even my vendor sells Japanese cards. If you have any feedback, you can always contact us through customer support. Hey guys, make sure you do that because I've got some feedback for them. Like this is disastrously stupid to change the bend level. You're going to be accusing people of cheating who may or may not be. You're going to not catch people cheating because they have plausible deniability and it's almost impossible to catch them. And for every single player in the world, you just made it virtually impossible for them to randomize their deck depending upon how they shuffle. All around just stupid, stupid, stupid change. Just utterly dumb. And to go on top of it, they say, we take the quality of our cardstock very seriously as everybody's losing their damn minds because right out of the box, Commander products are curved. I mean, like, unplayable, unfixable curved from the factory. Clearly, they do not take the quality of their cardstock very seriously. That is just an absolute lie. Just based on the evidence we've seen in their existing products, that is a lie. That is just not true. And also, I think it's additionally not true because they're either just trying to comply with some stupid law or save money. That's probably what's really going on here. And the UV light thing, I mean, UV penetrates through certain types of sleeves, and you might be able to see that it reflects the card back better, but if you're not playing with double-sided cards, you can see through your sleeves. I mean, technically, you can play without sleeves. I think that might still technically be legal, though very inadvisable. And remember, some people, specifically people with dark blue eyes, hmm, I wonder why I know this, can see ultraviolet light a little bit differently than somebody with uh, different color irises. So they might be able to pick up on certain, you know, fluorescent capabilities at like a ultra subtle level more so than somebody else. So if you're in a building with, you know, I don't know, fluorescent lights, which is like any CFL or any bar fluorescent or any even sodium lights are pretty high pitch. Or, well, in that case, high Kelvin. But it's just all around this entire decision was a disaster. I'm sure it'll totally blow up in their face, but not really because, you know, they cover up cheating. If they know somebody's cheating, but they don't want to, you know, they, they just want to, like, they want to save face and not, you know, parade it around like, look who we caught. Because the more people that catch cheating, it would seem, in their opinion, they're like, oh, well, that makes us look bad because it makes the tournaments look bad. So they just sweep it under the rug, refuse to comment on it, and anybody else leaving a comment about it, they'll just mute them, ban them, whatever they have to do. That's what they've been doing in the past and all their social media, all their live streams and everything, so... Oh, well, I guess they're probably going to do it with the cardstock issues, too. And they're well aware of, like, nine different types of cheating that people are doing on a huge scale, and they're not doing anything about that either. So, yeah. <laughs> I, do I think, really, people are going to be good enough to sense the bend difference uh, and then shuffle accordingly? 
as a whole, no, but if you're even a basic level card magician, yeah, you could easily do it. And if you practice enough and you hear it's a big thing, then everybody will start doing it. So eventually, yeah, I think it's going to be a problem, but uh, whatever. Will the fact that all your lands are going to clump and all your uh, stiffer cards are going to clump together too just due to physics, uh, is that going to counteract the fact that you'd have to stack your deck? Yeah, probably, so maybe they'll cancel out. I don't know. Either way, I'm just pissed at this whole damn news story, so... Let me know what you guys think about it and if you've heard any rumors about people already using it to cheat and I'll see you guys next video.